On June 26, 2020, at 12 a.m. GMT, a Cold Space Rescue Challenge map was issued to ICO participants from around the world. All participants were given 24 hours to develop AI strategies to solve the same challenge. In Cold Space Rescue Challenge, teams are required to build a real robot, develop and program appropriate algorithms and strategies for both real and virtual autonomous robots to navigate through both real and virtual worlds. Additionally, they have to search and collect objects while competing with another team's robot that is also searching and collecting objects in the same real and virtual worlds. During the challenge, the robot needs to overcome barriers, avoid traps, and swamps. If the robot successfully makes a deposit, the points of the objects deposited will be doubled. For University and U19 category, the Cold Space server will send the robot its own coordinates while the robot is searching in the virtual world. The location information can be used for the development of AI algorithms and strategy such as path planning and search algorithms. Additionally, for University and U19 categories, there are signal block zones which are surrounded by pink dotted lines. When a robot enters the signal block zone, its coordinates information will be blocked. The winner of the challenge will be the robot with the highest points. In the name of God, hi, I am Arya Parsa uh, from Iran and in the Archive Res uh, Cosmos Rescue Challenge Under 19. In this video, I'm going uh, to give a short explanation uh, of how I did the programming. I started programming nine months ago with the C language in the Visual Studio and environment. In the first step, the position of the points are given uh, to the robot in array format. And then the robot uh, calculates the compass for reaching the target point with uh, geometrical formulas. The ultimate goal uh, is the pickup two red, two uh, cyan, and two black objects for creating a super object with uh, 180 points. For depositing uh, the object, I define the area uh, with uh, no traps and obstacles. Uh, if the robots and the super object are in the same area, the robot will go toward the super object and pick it up uh, without any obstacles. Well, uh, now I, I will give a more detailed uh, description of the program. The first part of the program uh, variable, uh, which in addition, uh, addition to the necessary variable uh, to run the program, I also de define variable for writing the program. In the variable section, there is also the array of my uh, points where I uh, define the position is and y of the uh, points and explained in advance how uh, to go to them. My Boolean section, uh, uh, I added to make the program more uh, circulated and uh, easier to write. For example, boolean for the color of the tape around the trap by writing is this boolean instead of writing the color of uh, the tape around the trap, I define this color only for this place I need and uh, where I need this color just uh, use this boolean. Another boolean is defined for going toward the points uh, and the super object and as I said with uh, medical formulas uh, it uh, calculates the compass needed uh, to go to its position and by rotating he reached the compass it needs uh, and move toward those uh, position. Now I tell you about zooming in my program the robot enters uh, a zoom full of object uh, it changes the boolean variable, variable to 1 and it goes uh, to the target object uh, directly. L uh, later in the program, uh, we see the super object uh, areas and the robot position are uh, backed up in uh, SX and SY and PH and PY 
are bracket of uh, p x and p y, which are uh, which are bracket of uh, from our robot position, so that if the robot goes in the black uh, black zone signal, it will uh, use its uh, visually uh, bracket up position. If the robot uh, goes into the swampland color, it changes boolean to one that makes a robot uh, to reach its maximum speed. We have uh, defined another condition speed, speed cap value uh, for uh, the last few seconds that the robot deposit any object it has. There are two parts for picking up the object. The first part is normal part and the second part uh, if there is super object on the ground, leaves room for an empty super object. Going to the super object and deposit box also uses the same boolean I uh, described uh, earlier. The same boolean uh, is used uh, is used in the uh, position of going to the point, which goes uh, to the first and uh, if. It finds a distance to of less than um, seven. It goes from point to point, and this operation is repeated. In the end, I would like to say that this contest had uh, helped me realize the important mission of <coughs> rescue robot in helping human in surgical uh, surgical stances. And off we go! In this demo game, we will minimize any manual intervention. Red robot is depositing. Red robot is depositing. Blue robot is full. Blue robot is depositing. Red robot is depositing. Oh no! Blue robot has fallen into the trap! Points of the undeposited objects are reset and lost. Blue robot has picked up a super plus object, that is 180 points. Red robot is depositing. Blue robot is depositing.
Red robot is depositing. Red robot is depositing. Blue robot is depositing. Blue Robot has picked up a Super Plus object, that is 180 points. Red Robot is in the swamp, speed is restricted. Blue robot is full. One minute left. Blue robot is depositing. Red robot is depositing. Blue Robot has picked up a Super Plus object, that is, 180 points. Red Robot is in the swamp, speed is restricted. Blue Robot wins this challenge. Congratulations!